Hello, how to solve this exponential problem? This is negative 6 to the power of t and this equals 6. We are solving for the value of t that satisfies this equation. Now, let's consider this first method. This is negative 6 and we can express this as product of negative 1 and 6. This is negative 6, so we can express it as negative 1 times 6. So, that means we are going to replace this negative 6 here with negative 1 times 6. So we are going to have negative 1 times 6. And this is raised to the power of t. And this equals 6. Now, the next thing we are going to do will be to consider this identity. If you have a times b raised to the power of c, this equals a power c times b power c. So we actually distribute this exponent to each of the terms inside this bracket. So what we are going to have will be this is negative 1 to the power of t times 6 to the power of t and this equals 6. Now look at it here. This is negative 1 to the power of t. So what we can do at this point is to make use of this Euler's identity. So if you have e to the power of i times pi, then you have plus 1, and this equals 0. So from here, you can actually make this positive 1. You move it over here, it becomes negative 1. So you have e power i times pi, and this equals negative 1. So if this becomes the case, that means negative 1 equals e power i times pi. And remember, we have negative 1 here. So we can easily replace this negative 1 with this e power i times pi. So the equation actually becomes, so we have e power i times pi, which is this negative 1. And this is raised to the power of t, which is the t that we have here. Then we have times 6 to the power of t, which is the t that we have here. And this equals 6. Now, at this particular point, the next thing we are going to do will be to consider this identity. So if you have a to the power of n, and this is raised to the power of m, so this equals a to the power of n times m. So by actually applying this identity right here, so what we are going to do will be to multiply this exponent out. So we are simply going to have e power i times pi times t, then this times 6 to the power of t, and this equals 6. So, at this particular point, what we are going to do next will be to make use of natural log, which is ln. So, we have ln of e to the power of i times pi times t. Then we have times 6 to the power of t. And this equals, we have ln of 6. Now, we have applied natural log here. So, what we are going to do will be to make use of the property of natural log. So if you have natural log of a times b, in this case, this is our a, so this is our b. So this equals natural log of a plus natural log of b. So we apply this property right here. So what we are simply going to have will be, this is natural log of e to the power of i times pi times t. Then we have plus natural log of 6 to the power of t. And this equals, we have natural log of 6. Now, we can also apply this other property in which if you have ln of a to the power of b, this equals b times ln of a. So you apply this property right here and right here. So what happens here is that the t, the t here will come behind this natural log and the i pi t, the i pi t will come behind this natural log. So you are going to have i times pi times t times ln of e plus t times ln of 6 and this equals ln of 6. Now what you should also know is that ln will cancel e, ln of e is 1. So this will definitely give you 1. So you are simply having i pi t times 1. So from here, we have plus, this is t times ln 6. So we have t ln 6, 
and this equals ln6. Now, at this particular point, if you multiply this out, you are going to have i phi t plus t times ln6, and this equals ln6. So, if you observe, there is t here, there is t here, so we can factor out the t. So, at this point, what you are going to have will be t times, this is i times phi plus ln6, and this equals ln6. So the next thing we can do at this point will be to solve for t, we divide this by i times pi plus ln6, and we divide this by i times pi plus ln6. So what happens here is that the i times pi plus ln6 cancel this, so we are going to have t, and this equals ln6 divided by i times pi plus ln6. So this is our answer using this particular method. Now, the next thing we are going to do will be to consider the second method of solving this exponential problem. So let's also consider the second method. So we have negative 6 to the power of t equals 6. So we are still going to consider the first approach in which we are going to represent this negative 6 as product of 6 times negative 1. Or negative 1 times 6. So this also means negative 1 times 6. So we can replace this negative 6 with this negative 1 times 6. So we have negative 1 times 6 raised to the power of t equals 6. Now at this point, let's com consider this complex identity. Now if you have square root of negative 1, this equals imaginary number i. Now, if you take the squares of both of this, this cancel this, so you have negative 1 is the same thing as i to the power of 2. Now there is negative 1 here, so I can easily replace it with i to the power of 2. So what I'm going to have will be, instead of writing this negative 1 here, I'm simply going to have i to the power of 2 times 6, and this is raised to the power of t, and this equals 6. Now, at this particular point, the next thing will be for us to make use of log. So we take the log of this i power 2 times 6 raised to the power of t, and this equals log of 6. Now, if you apply logarithm property, if you have log a to the power of b, this equals b times log a. So the t will come behind this log, so we are going to have t times log of this is i power 2 i can't put this in bracket plus this is log 6 and this equals log 6 because this is like in fact we have not even this is not the identity that we're supposed to even use here so let me write the identity that i've just applied here the identity is this is if you have log a times b this equals log a plus log b. So this is the identity that I've just used here, in which this is my a and this is my b. So this identity will be used immediately after this. So this is done. Now the next thing is for us to consider this identity that I've just written down earlier. So the two here will come behind this. So what we are going to have will be I can easily have this as t times this is 2 log i plus log 6, and this equals log 6. So, what I can do now is to isolate this t by easily dividing this by 2 times log i plus log 6, and I divide this by 2 times log i plus log 6. So what happens here is that the this cancel this, so I'm going to have t equals log 6 divided by 2 times log i plus log 6. So I have this also as my answer. So this is the answer that we are gotten using this method. And if you compare it to this further one, 
So you see, this is based on natural log that we made use of, while this is based on the logarithm to the base of 10. So that is it. You can solve it. You can solve these complex numbers using any of these approaches. So that is it. Thank you and goodbye.